Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics. In this DCS AH64D video, I'd like to offer an example of using the FCR, the radar guided Hellfire, from the backseat. I understand that most players will primarily be using the AH64D from the backseat. This video builds upon the earlier FCR videos like FCR controls. I'll still continue the series more detailed instruction videos for the FCR, but this video is more designed for those that simply wish to run a gun from the back seat while raining down hellfires. Let's get started. Okay, so for the purposes of this video, I'll be doing it all from the back seat in a hot start aircraft here on the Normandy 2 map. Uh, before I pull collective, let's take care of a couple things. Uh, first, uh, the TSD is way too bright. Let's bring that brightness down on the uh, video brightness knob to that 9 o'clock position. And the uh, video display range from 25 down to 15. And that better matches the 8 kilometer range of the SCR. The lighting panel, let's turn off the uh, anti-collision strobe so it's not screaming to the enemy to shoot me. And it's pretty bright today, so I'm going to pull back the sun shields a little bit. Okay, uh, let's pull collective and get into a hover. Okay, force trim and center. Attitude hold, center, altitude hold. Okay, no weight on wheels, arm the aircraft, arm the countermeasure sweep. The main menu, ASC, shaft to arm. On the weapons, we can see we have eight radar guided hellfires, but well, we're not going to action those until we're ready. Let's go ahead and bring up the uh, FCR page though, so we have that ready to go. Also, I'm going to change my radio while we're at it. Okay, so I think at this point we can go ahead and kick off the attitude, altitude, hold, pitch forward. Get some speed. Shooting some biology and we're off. Okay, so first we're going to head to a waypoint two, which is my first battle position. And three is the alternate with the enemy between four and five. Now, regarding controls, earlier I did a video on the FCR controls and pages, but you're in the back seat, it's actually quite a bit simpler. Uh, the primary things you need to have uh, mapped are going to be the uh, site select switch uh, left for the FCR, two stage trigger, the single and continuous scan burst switch, uh, the uh, missile switch so you can action and deaction, and if you want to uh, manually cycle the next to shoot uh, target on the FCR, you'll probably want to go ahead and map the uh, cursor depress button. Okay, we can see our fly to symbol. That's our destination for our battle position. So we're going to start slowing down. Okay, change my symbology to hover. line between four and five and start coming up okay single scan burst I'm gonna pause here for a second take off the iHead so we can take a closer look at the SCR screen. So we're seeing a lot of symbols here. Uh, the H looking symbols are track vehicles like tanks and infantry fighting vehicles like a BMP. The circles are wheel vehicles, uh, trucks, APCs like a BTR. The triangle are ADUs or air defense units. So this could be like a Shilka or some type of SAM. The bow tie symbol is a helicopter and square symbol is an unknown type of vehicle. 
Now if you see a symbol that's mostly filled except for a small black square in the center, it means that that unit is moving, like that hel helicopter we can see there. We also have two modifier symbols. We have the large diamond, called the next to shoot, or NTS, and the large triangle, which is the alternate next to shoot, or called the ANTS. Now right now we can see that the NTS is segmented, because right now we don't have a Hellfire action. I'm going to go ahead and action Hellfire. Now it's solid. So if I were to pull the trigger and fire Hellfire, it would go automatically to that target, and it's 100% fire forget. At the same time, the NTS would then automatically cycle to the next target in priority, which is currently the ants. So each time you fire, the next to shoot is going to cycle to the next target in priority. So let's take a look at this in action. So you see it went to the uh, ADU that was uh, before that, it was the ants. And we can see the ants, it looks like it's a helicopter right now. Yep. And now the NTS went to that helicopter. Now, if you say want to skip a target and manually select your NTS by cycling through the shoot list, you can do that too. So up in the top left corner, you see NTS. We put the cursor over it. And if you depress the cursor, it will cycle the NTS to the next target in priority. So I'll go over the helicopter, I could do that. But let's say there's that tank down there, which is currently ants, and I want to fire a fire shot at the helicopter first. I depress NTS, and I made that tank now my target. Pretty simple. Let's go ahead and uh, deaction Hellfire. Bring back my eye heads. So next, let's go to uh, waypoint three, which is my second battle position, and do an engagement more in real time. Now it's important too that you only action the missile right before you're ready to shoot. If you wait too long or you move uh, too far away from the target that you set up as the NTS, there's a good chance that that shot will miss. So, you know, best practice is to uh, lock up your target, get ready to shoot, action the missile, fire the missile, or thereafter, and then after that, deaction. And that's going to be your best result. Okay, slow down. SA eight, eleven o'clock, searching. to the enemy now. Let's go ahead and bring it up. Single target scan. Action the missile. as easy as that. So folks, I hope you enjoyed this little video on flying from the backseat using the FCR and Raider Hellfires, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.